Connection with a series of armed robberies, armed carjackings, money laundering, and firearm on the East Coast, Pennsylvania, Florida, New Jersey, and Virginia. Graves says the group led by Trevor Wright, also known as Taliban Glizzy, targeted and robbed jewelry stores owned by Asian Americans. And that included Yassini Jewelers in Falls Church back in January 2022, Sonia Jewelers in Springfield, Virginia in September of last year, and Princess Diamonds in Falls Church this past January. Wish I come back now. It's not looking good for Taliban Glizzy. Now, what's going on with this indictment? Now, now Taliban Glizzy is accused of violating the Hobbs Act. Now, if you don't know what the Hobbs Act is, I guess I got to explain everything to you. Now, the Hobbs Act is basically when somebody is criminally interfering with commercial state goods or commerce. Now, now basically, for example, say a business, they order peaches from Georgia. Now, the peaches either got to get on a truck or a plane. They fly over to, let's say I'm in Kansas City. They fly over to Kansas City, you know, and then they get to the grocery store. And say you travel from Maryland all the way over to Kansas City just to rob those stores for those peaches. Now, you done crossed state lines and you basically affected the commerce of another state. That's violating the Interstate Commerce Act or the Hobbs Act. So, so that's basically what the FBI, ATF, and like 15 other police departments, they're charging Taliban Glizzy with. Now, the FBI is accusing Cal Taliban Glizzy and all the other defendants are basically huddling up like the Pittsburgh Steelers, bro. They basically think Taliban Glizzy is the quarterback. You know what I'm saying? They basically saying they, they huddled up, you know what I'm saying? They conspired and basically... They they told bruh, hey, you go get the car. You know what I'm saying? They saying, bruh, you go do this. You go do that. We gonna all go. We gonna go on a trip. We gonna go get the money, and we gonna bring it back to some guy in Virginia. And this guy, you know what I'm saying, is gonna fence the money. You know, basically they saying that they were targeting Asian jewelry stores. You know, because of the simple fact that they had products that were easier to sell on the market, so they would target these stores from New Jersey all the way to Florida. But the problem is, you know, they were using stolen cars from the District of Columbia. So all they had to do was track the cars. You know what I'm saying? So the child went to a gas station close to New Jersey, cause you gotta understand if they driving there from out of state. They got to, you know what I'm saying, at least stop at the gas station to get some gas. Or they had to charge the car to EV station. So that's basically what they did. So basically, you know, they got one of the plates from, from a camera outside of the jewelry store. And basically, all they did was track the plates. You know what I'm saying? They tracked the plates all the way up and down. You got to understand, the highways got plate scanners, bro. They tracked the plates all the way back to D.C. Now, they tracked two Lexus trucks and a BMW all the way back to D.C. Now, they found out who was driving the cars. Then they locked them dudes up. You know what I'm saying? And then they locked everybody else up. Now, when they locked them up, they recovered a Rolex, you know what I'm saying? It's running the crime scenes, you know what I'm saying? Now, now after they recovered the Rolex, they found $300,000 in the safe, and that's where the FBI is alleging that they violated the Hobbs Act. So I hope that spun out, I hope that spun that video all the way back around for you. Now, it looks like Taliban Glizzy is facing up to 20 years, you know, a minimum of seven. And I said like this, you know what I'm saying? That's why the boy shot got working at McDonald's. Bada -bada -da -da. You know what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, man, it's your boy shark and I'm out, man. Uh, free Taliban Glizzy. All right, man, it's your boy shark and I'm out. <laughs>